So a, a designer named Adam Harvey has hairstyles and makeup that fools fake recognition. So there, there's like yes. it's oh, hair and makeup tips. Yeah, show yeah, it. So, it's really cool. All yeah, right. it's uh, so we'll Adam Harvey. He, uh, Adam Harvey also has fabrics that fool face recognition computers, and, and and does it in a crazy way. Like there's a coat that they that he has that has. It looks just like kind of like camouflage or something. It has this random pattern, but face recognition algorithms perceive it as having face, faces all over it. But the problem is, you have to walk around looking like this person. <laughs> See, Wait, that, this could be this could be stylish at some point in what, time. How exactly. long? Okay, you saw it here first. How long before this is the fad? Everybody starts dressing and wearing their hair in weird. Okay, Holy so cow. I would totally do some of this stuff. Like this pixelated makeup the dude is wearing, I think that's pretty cool. Or this lady, this tiger lady down yeah. here. Yeah. And would that's, you do the hair like that? Uh, I already have blue hair. I just need to make it straight and comb <laughs> half of it over my face. <laughs> Test patterns for stylists. These block. These are. This is not just like crazy style. These block face detection algorithms. OpenCV, EB Learn, Vera Look, and Apple face detection. Yeah, so the what idea the is what? this is crazy. They they learn where like what eyes look like on a face, right? They they learn something that with a nose in this spot and two eyes in this spot and lips that this is a person and then they track they match against that. That's why taking <sighs> big blocks of color and putting it in weird spots fools it because it's like, wait, is that the eye? No, that's the eye. What's it doing on her cheek? Ah. Wow. The other thing you could do, <laughs> and we actually were going to, Colleen was going to build this. She now ironically works for Facebook. Uh, we were going to put a, uh, build either a collar or uh, maybe a, a little uh, a tiara that has UV lights in it. You don't see them. Human eye doesn't see them. It blinds cameras. Mm. You look like a glowing yeah. ball to a camera. Uh, you could, I, that's another fashion. I could see people going around wearing headbands with, you know, lights that, that block cameras. That's actually a, a, probably a really good product. Should we, let's do the Kickstarter oh. now. So yeah. here's a related thing. And I'm trying to find the video. Um, I think I saw it at South by Southwest. It, it was an IOT device that somebody built that had, it detected IR from surveillance cameras. And every time it passed and a surveillance camera. It detected IR and it would tap the person who was wearing this shirt. It would give them a ah. haptic zip on their shoulder. Ah. So like mm. it was like zzz, twitch, twitch. Every like he was walking down the streets of London. It was pretty cool. Wow. If you are going to so, do that, cool. chat room saying it'd probably be better to use infrared than ultraviolet. I don't know which would blind a camera, but oh. <laughs> pick one end of the spectrum. Clearly, there's going to be an arms race. This is just bizarre. Just yeah. bizarre. Uh, I mean, we're headed rapidly toward uh, 1984. 